David, what time is it? This is straight cop blocking season. Well, guys, they're not going to tell us the chief ain't here today because she's here. Let's go, buddy. Let's go get your shit back. <clears throat> Oh, it's good. I got a camera on. You're good. Well, looky there, the one you want to see. That's the only one that can help you right there. Actually, it's him. Okay. One of your officers took two of mine. Okay. Steel. The day that there was a... You're going to have to fill me in a little bit more than that, because... YouTube, David Enos Vlogs, Tyrant Alert. It's got the whole thing. Well, I want Where your officer had to... I want to hear it from him. Okay. okay. He was sent away by another one. He was sent away by another Oh, yeah, another officer had to escort him okay. to his truck. Start from the beginning. First off, your name. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. I'm Vicky. Nice the only one that will help you. No, well, he took my knives, and he had to be sent away by... Uh, Whale Barker? Yeah. Oh, back to the Jody ship. You know, two Dodge trucks, silver in color. 480 McKinley Avenue. Actually, if you give me an email, I'll link you a whole video of the, the whole incident. Jeff, right? Yes. How do you spell your last name? B V. Okay. When did this happen? Friday. Yeah, Friday. And you say, he, start from the beginning because I'm completely at loss as to where we're going. Oh. Two of your officers show up. Steel came up. And what was what type of call? I guess two of the water going. Okay. Go ahead. And next thing I know, he was this close. See me. And me and the three feet rule. I've been taught all my life three feet. Is all the closer you come to somebody. Without okay. their permission. He just kept coming and coming and coming, forced me across my car. Okay. Took both my eyes, then had to be sent away by another one of the officers. And I never got him back. They had to be taken away, why? I'll give you my version of this, it'll make sense, I promise you. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, I was listening to a scanner. I hear a domestic dispute call. So, as always, my First Amendment, I go to record the police. I show up on the scene, automatically steel jumps on me. Mm -hmm. We get that taken care of. And uh, anyhow, he was supposed to be arguing with somebody, or maybe one of the neighbors called the police. I'm not sure how, who called. But anyhow, while I was there, he was just shaking him down. The knives thing was an accident. 
So he took him out of his pocket when he was shaking him down, and then everything escalated between me and him. So Wellbacher had to forcibly put him in his truck and send him away, which he almost hit a parked car. And no seat belt, which is all on video. I filed a complaint. And anyhow, the knife thing. On complaint, Dave, it wasn't signed and it wasn't notarized. Not signed. I th oh, I have to sign it in front of a notary. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that because I, I do have a notary. Uh, Jackson told me that it had already been, then he had told me about the notary and all that. I didn't, I didn't think we had to notarize it. Did you read the instructions? <sighs> Actually, I did. But listen, I, I, I didn't think that that applied. I thought, I thought that was just a policy. No. Right. That, I understand that, that, that now. That means it's a formal complaint, and you're swearing and right. affirming the information gotcha. in the complaint is true and correct under penalty of the law. Right. And I misunderstood Mr. Jackson when Officer okay. Jackson said that about the falsification. I thought he was referring to me, but no, he was trying to explain it to me. When I had my other YouTuber friend come in, he kind of explained it. Okay. But he didn't that day. Anyhow, during so he, the pat down. So well, I'm going to go back to Jeff here. So they patted you down for weapons, of course, which is well within our bounds and our rights right. for officer safety, protection, and anybody around you, and so on and so forth. So what you're saying is that Officer Steele had taken your knives and then got distracted by whatever was going on over here and yeah. did not give you your knives back. Yes. Okay. Not just like get them back. Can you describe them? Uh, one's a soul, flash two. And the other one's a CRKT, shenanigans. How do you spell that? Because <laughs> I listen. I don't I am believe. Not an English teacher. I don't yeah, believe. Me to spell my name. I, don't, I don't care for Steele, but I don't believe he stole his knives. I believe he just got distracted and he may have forgotten him on other calls that night and maybe forgot where he got them. So it might be just an honest mistake. Okay, what's your address, Jeff? Three ninety seven Highland Avenue. I don't even know it, buddy. P.O. Box? 23 to 6. <laughs> See, he may have even left them in the cruiser, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he was just so distracted. I, I don't believe he was at, he makes too much money to be stealing some, a couple hundred dollars a night. Oh. Sweet. Also, Cheyenne, I need her fingerprints. Okay. How do I do that? You can bring it right here. No, I just asked Jack. He said no. I know. We just ordered all the supplies and equipment, the print boards. I love ink, you. You are like the best officer we've got. Bring her here. When can you have her here? Today. What time? Uh, she gets out. Now, how many times did you and I talk saying, Dave, you need to go to the court, get something on top of that so you can get ahead of this problem. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. I understand you want to protect your daughter. I do. I truly do. Right. But you have needed help. Listen, I, I, I've reviewed that tape and I've reviewed that tape and I never heard her yell one thing. But how he got menacing. It's not necessarily what she heard or somebody heard on the tape that was viewed. you got to understand there was more people involved. I know they recorded. i got a brand new video. And it was sent to me last night that somebody didn't even know even uh, recorded. But, but it's it's not necessarily what you think or what I think. Well, what if I got a video uh, Emily coming straight up to the other girl well, that I'm getting ready to submit that's, to court? That, that's something you could present in the right. defense portion of the court. Our job here isn't to argue who's right, right or wrong. I get it's that one. I get the, that one. There's a time I get and a place one. for everything. If you want to humiliate an officer, you bring him up on the stand and you catch him on the stand. You don't sit there and argue the officer trying to do the job on the street because all the elements of the offense were met. He takes the case to the prosecutor. Prosecutor says, you know, <laughs> it's like if we go to a call. He's a cop sucker. I'll too. talk to you. I'll talk mm -hmm. to Joe Schmuck over there. I'll talk to Joe Schmuck over here. I'll talk to Billy Bob over here. And it's not just a he said, she said, or she said, she said. Mm -hmm. It's a totality of the entire right. circumstance. Uh, like I said, it said that when he pulled up on the scene, there was an altercation going on. 
I, impossible. I, impossible. I, I, I don't know what... That came oh. from dispatcher. I got that out. Uh, did you get a copy of the tapes and everything? But maybe somebody reported to him that there was an altercation. Uh, he's no. It, it, that's, it's real. Right. It's real. Right. And I, I really don't want to discuss that because I, I don't want to put you in the middle of it anyhow. I mean, I already am. Right. Because you're cheap. I understand that. I already am. I probably know more about what you do than you yourself at this point. I wouldn't doubt it. You know now, but they got video from the library, and I'm just saying that there's fine. all kind. There's a time and a place to pick your battles. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. You know, when he asked you to stand back, he wasn't violating your rights. Oh, by he wasn't ten feet away. There is no rule that says ten foot. Show me a, any correct. law that says an officer can only order you ten foot away. The lunging distance for a knife attack is twenty-seven feet distance. By the time t what? somebody's 27 feet, I'm a, I'm a defensive tactics instructor. The so lunging distance away. says, yeah, that's what I'm if saying. If he's so, that paranoid, though, thinking no, it's somebody... it's not that. It's that we are there to control one situation. If we're asking you to stand over here, we don't care if you're there. Don't distract my officers from getting mm -hmm. the probability of getting hurt. Right. You can record all you want. Right. But, but as he soon wasn't as you trying to let me do that. But if he asks you to step over here and stay over there, that's a lawful order. Right, you and I, I did no just that. There is no ten foot rule. I just, I did there just is, that. There is no uh, wait till the officer leaves, comes back into the scene. If he's there talking to an officer, and an officer tells you to stand over there, and he says, "Hey, come over here," we're going to tell you to stand over there. Uh, by rights, I could have walked up on his property, though. That was from an attorney said I could have walked up on his property as long as I didn't approach. The, the, I'd like the cop. to talk to your attorney. Oh, you know him. Actually. Who's that? Uh, I can't disclose I, it, but. Yeah, just to, uh, but he's mm -hmm. going to show himself. Well, I just don't the, know. The, the battle is in court. Correct. Don't don't jeopardize. I mean, he, he could have got hurt. You know, Gosh. by the officer being distracted. If yeah. if there was actually domestic violence where people were arguing right. and he was involved, she's whatever. You know, it's he it's distracted a, himself though. I, I, but that's okay. <laughs> but if you're given a lawful order to stand over there and, and stay I did over that. there, mm -hmm. I stayed back there. I I, did, I even asked Well uh, Barker V. I said, "Is this cool?" He said, "You're fine right there." It's irrelevant at this point. Um, but I, I, I did just what he said. He said, and I did. I, I cut across the street. I did just um, what he said. As far said. as your knives, I'll give you a holler as soon as they're here. If I can find them before, oh. uh, is okay to give it to him. Yeah. Okay. So he'll, have, you, he'll, yeah. he'll have to sign a property release. Okay. That's good. All right. <laughs> Let me see what this gentleman needs. All right. All right. You don't want me? Yep. Are you chief, ma'am? Yes. Hi, I'm David. You're Hi, David. 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 Take it as you will. Hit that like and subscribe. It's free!